What's going on guys and welcome to the first uh, video on Football Manager 2015 uh, on my channel. This is on the beta. Um, obviously by the title and the intro, uh, the intro I know it's quite a little bit long winded but never mind. Like, we'll just leave it as that. Um, and yeah, it's obviously with Wolves, the team I support. Um, first of all, I've had the uh, beta since Friday. I have played a save with Atletico Madrid. I did come like third or fourth in the third, after the first season so ain't that bad but uh, yesterday I couldn't... Uh, Put the video up because uh, I actually went to the NFL um, Detroit Lions versus uh, the Atlanta Falcons at Wembley Stadium 22 21 to the Lions, uh, which was great. Um, but yeah, um, I already have this uh, profile here, so I'm just gonna uh, go past that and yeah, go past that and then this. So obviously, choose team Wolves. Um, I still I've got my old badge pack, which is kind of like from a few seasons ago with Brighton and Cardiff's old badge uh, or badges. Um, which isn't the best, but it still do. Wolves obviously doesn't really matter because we've not got any different badges in quite a few years now. And um, we've obviously got all the new kits. Uh, yeah, I think the new kits. I know it's Wolves' new kit anyway. So yeah. Um, right. Uh, next manager or style. So it's obviously new on the game. Um, for Atletico Madrid, uh, I th I had the top one here and international footballer, and I think I went that. I think that was what I went with. Um, but for Wolves, where what's a suggested? That is a suggested and international footballer. Well, professional football and national level, is that? Yeah. That's what they're both suggested on Wolves, so I'm not going to like cheat or anything. But um, adaptability, I can take that down. That is just make sure. Yeah, yeah, it's if we're going to a foreign league and we're just going to st get off, stick with Wolves, unless we just get sacked. But then I think this probably series will end up ending. Or I might go to a new club, but it will only be in England. Um, determination high, young some knowledge, discipline, no, don't really, yeah. Um, motivating can go up. Um, technical, what is technical, like in terms, abilities, coach to aspects of training, okay. Uh, may as well just be like another aspect of a coach. Um, working with youngsters, yep. Uh, mental, there we go. I think I'm just going to stick with this, you know, let's just go. Can um, confirm. So obviously here we go. Now this is the skin. This skin's actually the light one. You're probably thinking like, what is it? Um, but here we go. Let's just save this now. Um, but yeah, um, it's in the in the description. Uh, if I remember, then I'll put the link to it. It's a light skin. Um, and you see, yeah, I think it's pretty good. Um, it's kind of bright. I understand that. And if you don't like it, then I apologise. I will change it back. Just leave a comment. Um, down below, but I think it looks better than the original one at least. Um, but yeah, so here we go. I take the Wolves hot seat. Um, personal message here. So they welcome me to Molyneux. Um, till then, uh, responsible to offloading players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Specific attribute. It's just a tenor meeting. Yep. So uh, welcome to Wolves. Um, I think that's a kind of a glitch on the thing that we can't actually say see what we're gonna say. Hmm. Let's just change it back for this and then. <laughs> that is a bit of a fail. Um, where is it? Here we go. Let's just do that. So hopefully we'll be able to see what we say now um, on the in the meeting. Um, but yeah, it's just I don't know what we're going to do with this save um, this season. But I think we were predicted to finish seventeenth, was it on the media prediction? I'm not a hundred percent too uh, like sure, but seventeenth. I think we should be aiming for a bit higher than that. Here we go. Um, but does that mean we've, we've skipped the meeting now? Here, here we go. Uh, they're obviously a club with a lot of history, the fans, um, yep, uh, let's, I'll just say, I'll say, uh, it's okay, because I am already familiar, 2 million transfer budget, 300,000 uh, per week, uh, they are in line or whatever, um, I don't feel a meeting is required, no press conference, um, thank you, Joe Garland, your assistant manager, um, yes, let's have that, uh, interest squad friendly, no thank you, uh, meeting, yeah, let's just go to the back without every. Three, uh, I don't know. Um, every three months. Um, would you like me to have any tax? Uh, tasks, not tax. Uh, there we go. All right. Um, exit these transfer updates. So, obviously the players on loan. Kevin Dawes on loan at Crystal Palace. Um, Zeli Ishmael is on loan at Notts County. Uh, Gillingham have Courtney Howells or Horse um, on loan. Beyond Sigurdarsson's on loan at Mould. Or Molde and Jay Cassie's on loan in Nos County, also same as um, Zeli Ishmael. So that's the new subscription. Meet the players. Here we go. Oh, there we go. Um, opportunity. Um, so I think 
passionately uh, mid table. Eight thing yeah, bit bit unrealistic. I disagree. I'll just say I misjudged the situation and that kind of never really worked. But I don't know what the players think they should do. Obviously, it's different to mine. Uh, meet the staff. So uh, let's just add these to the uh, free kicks and James Henry to the corners. Back recycle for penalties. Kevin Foley's not really going to play much, to be honest. Uh, the scouting team. Uh, yeah, we don't need any of these. Jermaine Pennant, is, he actually played for us on loan a couple of seasons ago, yeah. 15 times. Um. But yeah, wait, he played for Arsenal how many times? Not much, surely. No. Uh, but yeah, anyway. Um, getting dragged off here. So if we look at the squad now, so we have Carl Akimi, who's going to be our main goalkeeper. Obviously, unless he's no good, uh, but he's a good goalkeeper. Michael Jacobs is um, obviously a talented young winger, 22 years old. Uh, not bad. Roger Johnson, who can leave because in real life he's not. It's just like kind of a waste of space, but he can go. Um, Michael Jacobs, and next we have Roger Johnson, obviously. And after that, George Margarito is actually on loan at Chesterfield in real life, but I think it's only a short term loan. So he's obviously, I don't think they've been put into the beta um, at the moment. Uh, Aaron McCary, our bag of goalkeeper, not too bad. Uh, Kevin McDonald played in the Premier League with Burnley um, before, yeah. Uh, and his only goal came against Man City, I think, which is uh, the Etihad, and to score a winner, I think, which is quite weird. Uh, Jordi Ortega, who's going to go into the under 21s because I don't think he's good enough yet. Uh, move to under 21 squad. Uh, Jack Price, 21 year old midfielder, not a bad player. Sam Ricketts, who's actually been in the first team at the moment. Sam Ricketts has kind of been pushed out, and Matt Doherty's been in, but he's still a good player, Sam Ricketts. Um, Tommy Rowe, um, he's actually been playing left back for us this season in real life, and he's not that bad. He's captain of Peterborough last season in real life. Um, Bakary Sako, obviously, quite a good player. Very, very good player, in fact, but. Yeah, he's decent. George Savile is not the best. He can probably improve. Being only 21 years of age, we signed from Chelsea. We never made, managed to make a, a senior appearance for uh, while he was at the club. Uh, Richard Stim, and now solid centre-back, uh, 26 years old, so a couple few more years left in him. Uh, Raji Van Lepara, young, youngish, talented winger. Uh, good technique by the looks, 16. Uh, Danny Barr, obviously, another young but great centre-back. Obviously, he's quite good on FM. Um, good Premier League player in the future. Leon Clark, who's not really the best player, he's literally played for so many clubs, it's unbelievable. He actually started his career at Wolves as well. Um, did play quite a bit, he scored 7 and 28 here. Um, after a few loan spells, and we signed him from Coventry in real life for 700, uh, uh, 750,000. And he actually scored the other day against uh, Leeds away. He scored the winner. Uh, but we have Noah Dicko here, 22 years old, good player in real life. Uh, Matt Doherty, obviously the right back, who's actually pushing Sam Ricketts out of the squad in real life. Dave Edwards, a great professional, ex Shrewsbury Town, been with us for a while, and Luton, through our Premier League days as well. Um, so after Dave Edwards, I think we're near the end of the squad now. Lee Evans, uh, Kevin Foley, like I said, and Scott Bol uh, Bolgorn, Scott Goldborn, a uh, good player signed in from Barnsley, I think. Yeah, Barnsley a couple of years ago, well, it's, I think, of course, I know that. Um, yeah, so I think there can't be much more. Uh, James Henry, I think we've no, we haven't had it. Yeah, James Henry, and Cole, uh, McKimi. They're the other two players in the squad um, left. So let's have a look at our schedule. So we got any friendly? So we have one against the under twenty ones, which I'm going to cancel because I don't see the point in them. We have Locker and then Via Tudon, then Ajax, then Peterborough, then Boston United. Then we start off the season. Real life fiction, actually, is it? Yes, it is real life fixtures. Home to Norwich, uh, which I actually went to. Then the Cubs won Cup against Northampton. Uh, away to Rotherham, away to Fulham. Home to Cardiff, went to that. Home to Blackburn, uh, went to that. Away to Blackpool, I went to that. Uh, then we went away to Charlton. Then we've got uh, home to Bolton. Away at Reading. Home to Huddersfield. Um, um, home to Wigan. That was a good game, but... Yeah, we managed to draw 2-2. Two -two. And then we've got Millwall away, who we drew 3-3-2 three -three the other day. Middlesbrough leads, and yeah, we've got not a bad thingy. Obviously unknown in their cup. Uh, Millwall's last game of the season um, at home. Um, the competition, obviously the league. Uh, some good teams in the league. Um, the ones that are obviously going to be challenging from, from like knowledge and what I'd expect. Um, obviously the three teams that went down in uh, Fulham, um, Norwich and Cardiff. But I also uh, suspect teams like you know Brighton to do well, Derby to do well. I mean, Brighton aren't having the best season, to be honest, in real life. 
uh, at the moment. But Derby, they, they, they should be up there challenging. Middlesbrough on a bad side. Forest will be up there. Um, Wigan, Watford, they'll be good teams to like, you know, try and um, just fight off in the league. And we, we're not going to win every game. That's the, um, that's the moral of the story. We're not going to do well. Um, aiming for mid-table, that wouldn't be too bad, to be honest. Um, just, I just don't want to get sacked, really, to be honest. That is just, just it. Brighton have made a bid for him. They can have Roger Johnson. Um, Kit Simmons has stepped down as Fulham caretaker manager within the first day. Okay. Actually, I forgot to change the skin back. Um, should I? Ch I'll change it back now and see if anything, like, if it like glitches out a little bit more. But I'm sure the person who made it will like be sorting out the fix, like trying to fix it in a couple of glitches because it's only the beta, obviously, at the moment. And when the full game's out, I'm sure it'll be a good, decent skin to download. So do check it out in the in the description if I remember to put it there. It's a media fire download as well. Um, the website is I think FM Reporter. Um, I got it off. Um, didn't take long to download at all, but right, we'll have to sort out the tactics soon. Here we go. So, right, create new tactic. Uh, let's just go onto the tactics screen, which is here. Um, so obviously, skip the tactics creator. We don't need to do that. I don't really like the tactics screen, to be quite honest with you. Um, I don't like it how the position and roles are down the left hand side. I'd much prefer if they were on the players on the pitch again, like last year. But, um. For this tactic, I don't know what I'm going to do, what sort of style. Um, I could actually um, get a 43 one pound Atletico Madrid uh, that I used this one um, with these instructions. It's actually done, it, we was on like a 9 or 10 winning streak in the league with um, Atletico. Well, not in the league, I think a couple of in the Cups and the uh, Champions League. Um, but it's still, a, it's still a decent sort of uh, formation, but I don't know why I have that on. Um, I think I actually take that off in the games, but... This will be one of the tactics. Um, we'll have to create a new one. Um, I will create it another time because it will probably take a while and it'll probably drag on this video. Uh, we're gonna have a quick look at the under twenty ones uh, first. Um, to see who's like decent. So we've got John Flat, Dutton, Ebanks, Landau has been playing for the first team in real life. Uh, it's quite hard to see his stats, but that is down to the colour of the things that I've put it on actually. Um, the like the letters. Not letters, the colours of the the thing. I can't even speak. Um, these it's kind of probably hard to see. So green. Let's just change that to red, and then not white because that won't be very good. Uh, grey, and then a dark, like a bit lower grey. Okay, that should be all right, I guess. Better, well, easy to see the start at least. I think I'm worried that that grey might be a bit too bright actually. Um, but it shouldn't be. Um, but yeah, Ebanks Landau, like I was saying, um, he's actually been playing in, in for the first team in real life um, a few games this season, and he's actually he play he's been like he's played now and again like in the past two a uh, couple of seasons. So that's better to read. Um, but I don't think he's good enough yet for the thingy. I'd say I I look for stats at least eleven, at least eleven in the championship if you want to do well, eleven or twelve. Um, on the main stats, and he, he's kind of got that in marking 12, tackling 12, but still, I think he'd be alright to stay in the under 21s for a little bit longer. Ben O'Hanlon, uh, not a bad player. Um, Dominic, um, we've not got any well, decent players, to be honest, that could actually make a step up. Um, we've got Eusebio Bansi, who's actually decent in real life. He's very good in real life. Um, he's been, I think, he's been on the bench once or twice in cup games, but he's only 18. He'll be decent in the future. Um, and a hunt who's obviously we signed from Chelsea. Um, only on a free, but he's been put into the under 21s. Um, Liam McIlinden, he's actually on loan at uh, Fleetwood in real life. Uh, and I'm actually going to call him up into the senior squad, even though he's not the best player. But he is. He plays in. He plays for us in real life in the senior squad when he is on loan. But well, he's more on the bench. But um, I much prefer him to some players like Leon Clark. To be honest, in real life, so I'm surprised he hasn't really. You know why? Why he's gone on loan to Fleetwood? Because yeah, probably probably fair to him. He's good, so he gets games and stuff. But for us, I don't know what Kenny Jacket uh, can't see. Well, doesn't see in him. To be fair. Um, but I like this, it's sort of basically FM14, this that drop down thing does there. Um, so we've got match preparation. The so regulations here, Bolton higher, Billy Davis. Um, oh, that's a problem, isn't it? We're going to have to pay him 10000 per week until his contract runs out. 
Hmm. Why, why don't we set for release? I mean, he's an experienced player, and he's he, he'll be a good player for this league, but I don't want to just keep him in the squad if in real life he isn't very good. Like, well, he's decent in real life, but he's, uh, he's had some troubles, and he's not the best player, like, attitude-wise and stuff, what he's done to Wolves. Um, but we just leave it. Uh, inbox. So this is going to be the end of the, uh, the episode, guys. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Please leave a like for this series um, with Wolves. And I hope you'll continue to show your support. And yes, thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you later.